UK Ruby's London event. UK Ruby is about inspiring and empowering professional women just like you. So what have you enjoyed most about UK Ruby's London event tonight? I think what I've really enjoyed is just the absolute generosity of everyone that's been here tonight and whether or not that be someone giving their help for today volunteering, people donating their clothes, their time, their, you know, their businesses for prizes and then also as you sort of come around and talk to people, people's just generosity as far as in a business sense, like people are like, yes I know that person, I can help you with that, do you know this person, the connections, I've done a bit of work in this sort of industry, I'd be willing to, you know, maybe do some mentoring. So. Um, the real sort of sense of community that you get with these women and such an eclectic bunch of women as well has been fantastic. Well Ruby's a fantastic initiative. I mean I went to the launch event a couple of months ago and was really inspired by the women that I met and so when they sent out the invitation for tonight's um, event and the, the purpose of it being dressed for success I felt really motivated to come along and meet again these amazing women and be a part of such a great initiative. And what did you enjoy about tonight's session? Uh, having Jo Elvin as a guest speaker is a real um, privilege and a, and a rare opportunity. I mean, she's been inspiring me since she was editing Dolly magazine, which I was reading as a young girl. So, so um, it was great to, to um, hear her talk. What I enjoyed about Jo's speech was that she was quite detailed, but yet again, so down to earth, um, shared quite a few of her stories um, and was able to entertain us, but also give us insight as to how she succeeded. And also um, the lady who runs Dress for Success uh, really um, brought home to everyone here how um, important the initiative is and, and just the difference it can make. But what I enjoyed most was I think hearing about what the Dress for Success does for women. I mean what they do for women, giving them outfits to wear when they're going for a job interview so that they can feel great about themselves they can feel confident, they can go into a situation and feel, know that they're at their best and that they can succeed and be successful and provide for themselves and their family. I think it's wonderful and I'm going to be supporting them in the future. I think what cool. did you enjoy most about the UK Ruby event tonight? I thought it was good. It was in the Australia house. I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but I thought it was it's brilliant. It's a mixture of people. It's not just British. It's British, it's Australian, it's European, myself, German. So. No, I thought, and different age groups. It's a lot of experience here, I think, tonight. Yeah. And how do you think Ruby UK will help professional women such as yourself? Well, I think it will help me to uh, expand my network, to know exactly what professional women want most when they want to make a difference. And um, I think what it will also help is uh, a lot of times women are not so good about their own financial services, so I think it will help them to become a bit more alert about that. I think it's good to connect professional women. It's good to connect all women. And at this time, you know, really at this time in history, it's important that we come together and have conscious conversations about what we're going to do individually, what we're going to do together. So I think networks like this are really important, especially cross-cultural, you know, bringing Australia and the UK. I think that's another aspect of it that's interesting. What benefit do you think would be of bringing the UK and the Australian cultures together? You understand more, the more you understand outside your own culture. Yeah. And I think what I've got from going to Australia is like going down under to the other side of the world. I've had a completely different perspective on things. So I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the world news from this angle mm -hmm. instead of this angle. So I think that when we talk to each other like that, we see things differently, we see things from another angle, and that's what we need to do. That's how we'll come up with solutions, by being open-minded and looking at things from different perspectives. What brought you to UK Ruby's London event tonight? Um, well, the concept, actually. Uh, Stephanie was the first person to invite me along to Ruby, and I had a, such a lovely time at the very first meeting, and then this whole dress for success uh, theme that we've had tonight has just been very inspiring, and hearing the um, Hearing the ladies talk about the charity and the work that it's doing has been great. As well as this amazing bunch of women that we have here. There's some really lovely people. We are pretty amazing, <laughs> aren't we? Very amazing. Aren't we? And mm. what do you think UK Ruby can do for professional women? I've been to a lot of networking events in my time and I have to say that here at Ruby the, the people that, um, that are coming up, they're up to stuff. They're not, you know, they're, they're good people, they're either in business or, you know, in, in great jobs. But there's some, they're, they're up to something, you know? You don't want to be in a room full of bores and people that are all out for what can they get. 
I feel like coming here, I've just moved back to the UK, I'm making friends, people that I want to have over for coffee, you know, it's not just about the business side of it. There's a real, I don't know, there's a vitality and a vibrancy to it, which is lovely.